Hi, this is Dr. Tej Tanyanyua. I want to take a minute to pray for you. Are you in ministry? Are you running a church? Are you overseeing a ministry? Are you called of God to serve God's people? I want to pray for you today. The enemy has been attacking us so much as ministers of the gospel, pastor, preacher, apostle, evangelist, uh, whatever title you go by. If you are running a ministry, Satan has been attacking us. What has he been doing? Over lockdown, he shut down churches, attacked our members, attacked our flocks, attacked our ministries, the assignment that God has given to us. And afterwards, now we have all kinds of issues as media personalities, pastors, and even great voices in the body of Christ that are speaking messages that are causing dissension in the body of Christ. You know, God says there are, seven, there are six things, yea, seven things that he does not like, that he hates. And one of them, he says, is he that sows discord amongst the brethren. And so it is so vitally important for us to understand that our assignment is really special. Our assignment, our call, our mandate is really, really extraordinary. Satan will try his best to stop you in ministry. So many pastors quit ministry. So many churches shut down and flocks have been lost and destabilized. And the Bible says, smite the shepherd and the sheep will scatter. Satan has been seeking to scatter the flock. But I want to stand with you today and I want to give you a word of encouragement. Paul writes here in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 and in verse verse 19 he says he's talking about prayer here in verse 18 he says praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints we're praying for all saints but then he goes on to say and for me that utterance may be given unto me that i may open my mouth boldly and make known the mystery of the gospel for which i'm an ambassador in bonds and therein i may speak boldly as i ought to speak wow this is powerful this is the apostle paul the man who raised people from the dead the man who planted churches right through asia minor and into europe the man who impacted the body of christ the man who wrote two-thirds of the new testament this man says pray for me what are we praying paul we're praying that you may have boldness to have utterance to have clarity to speak as he should so that's what we want to pray for you today and I want to pray specifically in line with the book. You know, God has given us a mandate to speak to the body of Christ on the message of kingdom economics. And this is the seventh book that we have on kingdom economics. And I want to encourage you, get a copy of this book. Get yourself one of these books. This book will really be a blessing to you and to your flock. Now, what, 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 is the, what is the importance of this book? One of the key things about the vision that God has given you, the assignment that God has given you, is you need to impact lives, build churches, raise leaders, equip people, minister to the needy, minister to those that are going through different situations, get people out of getting evicted, etc., etc. And many people don't even know that this is what we do as pastors. We are up late at night rescuing marriages, ministering to kids going to hospital, praying for the sick, praying for the dying, doing funerals. We are doing all kinds of ministry work. But guess what? It requires money. It requires resources. It requires that God surrounds you with kingdom financiers, men and women that have a heart to support you, to stand with you, and to channel resources into the work that God has called you to do. But guess what Satan is doing in part of his attack? He is stopping the message on tithing, on giving, on sowing, on being actively involved in the financial increase and the financial affairs or what we call the kingdom fiscal policies of your local church. Satan is attacking your givers. Satan is attacking your tithers. Satan is attacking your flock. Why? So that they stop sowing and giving into the work that God has called you to. So what must we do? Have a boldness, like Paul says, that I may speak 
the word of God boldly as I should. More than ever before, we need pastors and men of God, women of God, that will speak on the message of tithing and giving and sowing into the kingdom of God. More than ever before, we need to boldly arise and declare that men or women must arise and become kingdom financiers through their tithes, their offering, their seed. Satan is against this message because he knows, in fact, the subtitle here, Why Satan Hates Tithing. And we talk about that. Why does Satan hate tithers? Why does Satan hate people tithing into your ministry? Because he knows that as soon as people stop tithing, the work gets frustrated and there is no progress with speed. But we want to see acceleration. That is why we're standing here today, praying with you, believing God with you. And guess what? We put together a very special package. If you're running a church and you'd like this book distributed to your church, to your flock, to your members, get in touch with us and we'll give this book to you at a very ridiculously low price. Why? We want to see your ministry grow. We want to see your church growing. We want to see your vision going to the na nations. We want to see your ministry impacting lives. We want to see you on quality uh, uh, prime time television. We want to see and hear your voice on the platforms that will amplify your voice to the nation and make you a voice to the generation and not an echo. It's your time as a man of God, as a woman of God. It is your time for your ministry, your church to go to the nations. So we're standing with you. We're believing with you. So right now, let's take a minute just to pray and be in agreement in line with what Paul gave us as an instruction for the prayer. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my brothers and sisters in ministry, every pastor, every prophet, every evangelist, every apostle, every teacher, every man and woman called of you to, to run, to administer a flock, a church, a department. Lord, I pray that you'd give them bold to speak as they should in the name of Jesus give them utterance to speak in the name of Jesus where Satan has sought to silence their voice give them a boldness and a confidence father to reach out to the nations and to impact the nations in the name of Jesus give them a greater digital footprint that will establish them as a voice and not an echo in their generation in the name of Jesus thank you for clarity clarity in their message clarity in their voice clarity in their assignment and in their mandate in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. We're standing with you. We're believing with you. And I'm here to declare, let's hold hands and support one another. Let's encourage one another. And together, we can preach the gospel of Jesus Christ until he comes. We can preach and get multitudes to come and be a part of our flocks. That's the plan of God. Satan is defeated. The gates of hell will not prevail. The kingdom of God is expanding and to the increase of his kingdom, there shall be no end until we shall hear that voice saying the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our God and of his anointed one. God bless you.